Well, I guess my uh, first reflection on the case method would be that it's the reason I'm at Harvard Business School. A couple times given seminars at Harvard Business School, and uh, the questions I got from the faculty were always very different from the ones I got anywhere else, because they always went to, well, gee, have you talked to any practicing managers about this? Do you really understand how they think about the problem? That convinced me that coming to Harvard Business School, and in particular working with the case method, both by teaching a lot of cases and also getting out into the field and writing my own set of cases, that I would not only be contributing to the teaching mission of Harvard Business School, but I would also be improving my capabilities as a scholar. Now, the most powerful thing about the case method for me is just the engagement that it generates in the classroom. I think the number of skills that students develop in case method discussion, it makes the case method totally different because number one, they get very good at defining problems. Second thing is being able to articulate your point of view in an impactful and persuasive way. And thirdly, really being uh, able to listen, just to see the confidence and the way that they're able to engage with one another and the very impactful but sort of courteous and respectful way that they have of disagreeing with another in pursuit of knowledge. I think it's tremendous. Seal Deer Corporation was one of my early days cases. I think it was the second one that I wrote. And it was a very interesting company because they clearly articulated their values, which were technological leadership. And we always have to have innovative products because that's gonna generate the kind of margins that we need to fund our research and development. And then as often happens, somebody invents around their manufacturing process patents and brings out products which try to do the same thing on the low end of the market. And so the question for Seal there was, well, should we go in at the price point that those other materials are at? And it was incompatible with their notion of being innovators, incompatible with their desire to be technological leaders, but ultimately, the question is, well, given that we see that it's filling some customers' needs, should we go and do that in the marketplace? It was a fundamental transformation for the company to shift their thinking about what product quality was from merely a product company-driven definition to a customer-driven one. And I think that is really such a fundamental learning for students. It has uh, kind of been a, something that's kept the case active and uh, an essential part of many curriculums all over the world. We all try to contribute to the world in our own particular way. My world is an academic world, and if I'm able to help professors do a better job with their courses and help managers see important things, I feel great about that because it's saying that, well, the fact that I'm here and I did this work is having a positive impact that I didn't see it at the time, but because of quality of the cases that we write and the distribution systems that we have, you know, you're seeing great impact all over the world. Thank you.